everyone! My name is Sarah Johnson and I'm a Pediatric Occupational Therapist, CLC, and part of the Infant Development Team here at Emerge Pediatric Therapy. And I'm here today to talk to you about the three signs that your infant is ready to work on sitting. When we look at sitting, the first thing we talk about is prop sitting, where your infant is either pushing against a vertical surface or against the floor. And they then progress to independent sitting, where they're not having to hold on to an object in order to keep themselves upright. There are three different things that we look at when we see if an infant is ready for beginning sitting. The first thing we look at is head control, specifically in a position of laying on the ground up to sitting. So when you're pulling your child into a sitting position, what we look for is for the head to stay with the body the entire time and not lag. So a lag would look like the head being back and it comes up really quickly towards the end. We're actually looking for a little bit of a chin tuck and the ability of the infant to maintain that head control throughout the movement from laying to sitting. Another sign of good head control is when you're holding your infant in various positions they're able to maintain their head control without bobbing, and you don't have to support their head when you're moving them through various positions. Another thing we look for prior to sitting is the infant's ability to push up on their arms in tummy time. So the progression of tummy time typically looks like a little bit of a plank, then infants go to extended arms, and then we get a really big extension and we see the neck and the head start to lift up a bit, that is the sign that infants have the head control and also the neck strength to be able to maintain an upright posture for sitting. Finally, the last thing we ideally want to see is an infant's ability to roll from back to belly and belly to back in both directions. Why is rolling important for sitting though? When we look at sitting, infants are using both their trunk muscles and their back muscles to maintain that upright position. Rolling back to belly and belly to back works on engaging those muscle groups in a coordinated way to move your infant from one position to another. Rolling also works on your lateral trunk muscles and those are really helpful for maintaining an upright posture and when an infant falls to one side, their ability to come back up to midline and regain their center of balance. When looking at ways to support sitting, you want to make sure an infant has appropriate head control and also that when you place them in a sitting position, their spine is ready. What is that and what does that look like? If an infant's spine when you place them in sitting is really rounded, that shows that they don't have the control yet and they're not quite ready. Ideally, you want to see them in a little bit of an upright posture when you sit them in a supported sitting position because that means that they're ready and their pelvis is in the correct position. If you have any questions regarding sitting or general milestones for your infant, we'd be more than happy to answer any of your questions. Thank you so much.